Okay, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the difference between a regular Genesis child theme and the dynamic child theme when it comes to the placement of your navigation bar. Uh, what I have loaded is the default magazine theme. And as you see, the placement of the navigation bar is above the header. And to change this position with Genesis in their child themes, it requires you to have FTP access in go into the functions.php file. Uh, another alternative would be going through the editor in your WordPress dashboard. Um, I find that you know a little less intuitive. So what I've done is I've loaded up my program and I'm accessing my functions.php file. Right around line 27 we'll see the reposition of the primary navigation. What ge how, how Genesis Flow works is that it requires you to make edits to the functions.php file or any of the other PHP files of the child theme or the CSS file to make any changes to your website. Um, that's where Dynamic came in and made things a lot simpler. It removed the necessity for having to jump into the code. So in order to do this, I see that it says remove Genesis after the header and add it before. So by default in the magazine theme, it's the location of the navigation is after the header. So if I just comment out this entire line of code, hit save, refresh, and we'll see that navigation move below the header. Now let's check out how to do the same thing with the dynamic child thing. Okay, so I've launched my test site, which is running uh, the dynamic child theme, uh, nothing special. And as you see, I have my primary navigation above the header. Okay, now in order to change this, there's no code, no FTP, none of that is necessary with Dynamic. You simply go to your Dynamic Design settings, click on Navigation, scroll down, and right here, click below header. Save it out, refresh, and it's and it's it's done for you. Um, there's nothing more than that. Uh, as an added bonus with the dynamic you have all of the design options right there to stylize and customize the colors and hover effects of your primary navigation where with Genesis child themes you'd have to go into the styles.css and actually put the CSS code in that file um, to get your navigation to look the way that you want to um, one last bonus is the same thing holds true for the sub nav um, just with the click of a button, you can place it above the header or below the header. So I hope you can see how much time and in, in coding is eliminated with going with the dynamic child theme. It really makes things intuitive and straightforward, especially when it comes to the position of your navigation bars.